Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Update for Tuesday, December 15th, 2020. Free pick coming up in college basketball. We'll get to that in just a moment. I hope you didn't have Cleveland plus three. Uh, boy, what a tough way to lose that as they come back from 14 points down, trailing 34-20 at one point. Tie it at 42 and then have that multilateral play at the end of the game that uh, goes through the end zone, the football, and gives Baltimore backers the cover, no matter what price they laid, uh, the cover at 47-42. But what an exciting game. Uh, Baltimore's still going to have to figure out a passing game that can get the ball downfield. I know Lamar did a couple of times, but uh, they're going to have to improve on that passing game, the downfield passing game, a little bit more. It can't just all be Lamar Jackson running the football for the most part, uh, but an exciting game nonetheless. So we end up losing the three-star in Cleveland. We did have a 4 no weekend. In fact, Thursday through Monday, an overall football card of 5 and 2, 71%. We'll obviously take that any week in football. And I wanted again to thank you guys that jumped on board over the weekend, 4 and 0 Saturday and Sunday in football. Cash that eight star with the Buffalo Bills. Here's what's going on for this week in football. We'll uh, talk more about this as we get closer to Thursday's release time. Uh, but right now, earmarked, I have two plays, a seven-star and a six-star. We just swept the eight-star on Sunday, the six-star on Saturday with Utah. Going to rack it up and do it again. And my top plays over the last few years now in College of Pro Football are 67 and 45. That's about 60% against the spread. So we'll talk a little bit more about that as we get closer to Thursday. As far as Tuesday's report, we've got college basketball and soccer. Four-star play in college basketball We'll look to get that sides run up to 13 and three with our last 16. Soccer is the star of the show as far as the top play. We've got a six star in Tuesday's CONCACAF action. It's a Tuesday night game. It's a plus money price. We've done quite well with these soccer plus money plays of late. In fact, uh, going back a couple of weeks, we're now nine and two with our last 11 soccer plays up $4,200 for $100 per unit better. So uh, let's get it going on Tuesday. If you want to jump on board in college baskets or the six star in soccer, you can do so on my handy Capper's homepage at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to our free play for Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, heading to the extra board. Big South action between Longfoot and Radford. Radford laying four and a half as we cut this video. These two teams recently met. Radford got the one-point victory, uh, but that didn't tell the complete story. I mean, here's the thing. You had a long one in that game getting out, shot out, attempted at the free throw line. Radford had 18 more free throw attempts, 28 to 10, and they made 12 more free throws, 20 to eight. And uh, despite that, they were still able to win the game by a point. I did not like the way Radford looked in that contest. Listen, neither one of these teams are going to win the Big South this year. We get it. Neither one of these teams is great as far as offensive efficiency is concerned. But we like Longwood in this spot. And they do have some experience coming back where Radford brings back, uh, doesn't bring back anybody as far as starters are concerned from last year. So five new starters uh, for Mike Jones. And I think it's going to be a situation where Longwood gets their revenge. At the very least, covers this number. Again, you don't expect to see 18 more free throws for Radford than what Longwood took themselves. And again, I expect a very close game. So looking at the lines right now across the uh, country and in Nevada and offshore, we're looking at uh, four and a half, Longwood getting four and a half, and that's what we're going to recommend here. So we have Longwood power rated slightly ahead of Radford. We're getting four and a half points. They come off that game in which Longwood could have very easily won if the free throw attempts were a little bit more even, and we'll back him here. Like him on the glass here, too over Radford in this uh, return matchup. So Longwood's going to be the play, free play, uh, the opinion plus the points over Radford. Again, don't forget about Tuesday's card for me over at DocSports.com. Four-star play in college basketball, six-star play, Tuesday night soccer, CONCACAF action, all available DocSports.com on my handicapper's homepage. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Tuesday in the win column or right back here Tuesday night.